In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Manjaro Linux on a Raspberry Pi. I have various Raspberry Pis here that I've collected over the years, some really old ones, some newer ones. I actually just received this Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 8 gig yesterday. So I was able to get some stock. Hopefully the availability of stock will get better in the coming months. But again, I'm gonna show you how to install Manjaro Linux on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> To do this, you need a micro USB and obviously a Rosby Pi. So what I'll do is I'll insert the micro USB into my computer. And what we'll do now is download some software. We need to download the Rosby Pi Imager software. You can get that from rosbypi.com forward slash software. Scroll down. In this example, I'm using Windows 11, but you could download the software for Mac or for Ubuntu as an example. And this is the software that we're gonna use to image the Linux distribution onto the SD card. To get Linux, in this case, Manjaro, I'm gonna to go to manjaro.org, click download, I'm going to install this on ARM, so I'm gonna select ARM. The device that I'm gonna choose is a Raspberry Pi. As you can see here, they have ARM images for various types of devices, so you may prefer to install this on a different device, but I'm gonna choose Raspberry Pi, and in this example, I'm gonna install the Mate desktop and download the image. There are various images for various desktop experiences, so you might choose something different here. Now to help you with this, my team and I have created a PDF which you can download using the link below that has all the instructions. But I'm gonna walk you through this. It's a very simple installation really, but I'll, I'll show you now how to get the software installed and running. So first thing we need is the image of software. Now I've downloaded this multiple times. I'll just choose the latest download. It's about 19 meg in size. I'm gonna say yes to install it, click install, Software is now installed on my computer and I'll click finish. Okay, first thing we need to do is choose the operating system and we're gonna scroll down and choose custom and then we need to select the software that we're gonna install. So going back to our downloads, this download has completed now. So I'll just choose the latest one. I've downloaded it previously. You need to select the software that you wanna install. So I'll choose Manjaro ARM, the latest image that was downloaded. Click open select the storage. So that's my SD card, which I've inserted into my computer. And then I click write and all data on that card will be overwritten. So make sure that it's either a card that you've backed up or it's a new card. In this case, it's a new card. So I'll say yes to overwrite, to write the software to the card. Now this is a good time to get a coffee. This is gonna take a while. So you can simply leave it until it's finished writing and verifying the installation. Software is now being verified. Okay, there you go, that's completed. I can click continue and remove the card from the computer. So I'll close that. And what I can do now is take a Raspberry Pi and I'll insert the SD card. I had a different operating system on this SD card, so I've just replaced it with Manjaro. What I can do now is connect a micro HDMI. This is actually connected to my computer. So on my computer, I'll be able to view the screen and then record the Raspberry Pi booting up. Before I power the Raspberry Pi on, I need to connect a keyboard and mouse. So I'll do that here, plug in my keyboard, I'll plug in a mouse. And last thing to do now is to power it on. So there you go, I'll plug that in and hopefully we'll see that it boots up. And there you go, Manjaro is shown on screen, busy booting. This is a great thing about the Raspberry Pi, you can jump from one operating system to another by simply switching your SD card. So as an example, on this SD card, I've got Parrot OS, and on this SD card, I've got Kali Linux. And you know, I could run Ubuntu or whatever on a different SD card, very easy to jump from one OS to another. Okay, so there we go, we've got a welcome screen. I'll choose next. I can specify my time zone. In this example, I'll just stay with New York, even though I'm in London. I can specify my keyboard. I'll just go with the default again, click next. You obviously need to specify the details that you want to. Specify my name, David. I need to specify a password. Should be using a good password, but this is just a demo, so I'm, I'm not worried about it. In the real world or in a implementation that really counts, make sure that you use a good password. I'll use the same password for my administrator password, and I'm gonna set it to automatically log in. Again, be careful doing that. You should run with better security than what I'm doing here, but this is simply a demo, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna click setup to complete the installation. They've got a nice little graphic showing you the rocket launching while it sets up the installation. 
Okay, so there you go. That's all done now. System reboots now. And I'm automatically logged back in. I'm told that their Wi-Fi network's available. I won't connect to that for this demo. What I'll simply do is connect the ethernet cable. So I'll connect the ethernet port. Now it's good practice to update your software. So I'm gonna to go to system, administration, add remove software. I'm gonna click updates. Updates are being checked for. You could check or uncheck various software updates, but I'm going to basically install all the software updates, put in my admin password, and the software is now being updated. I'll click apply. Software is now being downloaded and I'm busy updating my system. Okay, we told that we need to restart, so we'll do that. Installing updates such as these may take a long time. Just depends on which updates need to be installed. But there you go. I've now shown you how to install Manjaro on a Raspberry Pi, get it up and working, and then update the software on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi has now rebooted, and there you go. Software has been updated, and I should be able to ping google.com as an example, which I can, and I should be able to open up a web browser. And there you go, I can get to the internet with my Raspberry Pi running Manjaro. Okay, so in this video, I showed you how to download and install Manjaro on a Raspberry Pi. I showed you how to update the software. I can access the internet in this example using a wired connection. You could obviously use the Wi-Fi connection if you prefer, but I've shown you all the steps now how to get the software installed and working so that you have a new computer running Manjaro. What's really nice about the Raspberry Pis is you could run different operating systems on different SD cards. So I've got Parrot OS on one of these, and and Kali Linux on another, and I can simply boot from one operating system to another by switching out the SD card. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bumble, and I want to wish you all the very best.